Mr. Council. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir, kindly confirm that there is a letter appearing at page one. And uh, Council, as yes. you lead your witness in evidence uh, through evidence in chief, if you're referring mm -hmm. to any document, uh, be specific which volume and contained in which page. Thank you, Mr. So Speaker. That the senators sir. can follow. Thank you. I am making reference to volume one of the county assembly's documents at page one. Mr. Dennis Mokaya, is that your statement? Yes, it is. Does it bear your signature at the end at page five? Yes. Do you wish again to abide by the contents of that statement? Yes, I will. Now, very briefly, your allegation touches on the issue of bribery directed to the deputy governor of Kisi, whereby you allege that you issued some money to him in with a promise to get a job position. Is that your evidence before the Senate? Yes. Mr. Mukaya, tell us, what position were you interested in at the county government of Kisi? I applied for the position of the commercial manager. Commercial manager? Yes. Did you have the qualifications for that position? Yes, I did. What is your professional background? Uh, I am a graduate with, uh, with Bachelor's of Commerce, accounting major. You're an accountant by profession? Yeah. How did you come to know about that position that was being advertised? Uh, the position was uh, brought to my attention by my father. Uh, who told me there's an advertisement, I go by and I do an application. What is the name of your father? Uh, Joseph Doyle Misati. Joseph? Doyle Misati. Joseph Misati. Misati, yes. You're aware that your father is a witness appearing for the deputy governor, correct? Yes. So your father brought to your attention of the vacancy at Guasco's uh, authority, right? Yes. What did your father tell you? Uh, he told me to look at the website and I do an application. When was that? It was around uh, mid-April. Uh, mid-April? Yeah. And did you apply for that vacancy? Yes, I went to the website. I did the application. I attached all the documents. Uh, I'm waiting for any communication. Are you able to point the Honorable Senators to the advertisement that was done by Guasco? At what page? Can you look at page 266 and confirm whether that is the advert you are talking about? Honorable Senators, I'm referring again to Volume 1 of the County Assembly's Bundle of Documents at page 266. Can you confirm that that was the advert? Yes, on uh, page 266. Page 266? Yes. Thank you. So when your father approached you and advised you to apply for that vacancy, did he tell you that he had made any arrangements or what was his advice to you in respect to that position? So he, he told me to make an application for, for the job. Uh, he will follow it up with the deputy governor uh, for any... For any he will, he will make an application. I do the application. He will follow it up with the deputy governor. When you say follow up, what do you mean? What kind of follow up did he talk to you about? Was that conversation candid? And if it was, kindly tell the house specifically what your father told you the nature of the follow up would be. By the time I was doing the application, I was still in Nairobi uh, doing my uh, business. Now, when I applied the interview, uh, when I was called in, uh, for an interview, when I went home, it's when I got to know the whole deal that uh, the deputy governor will just help us secure the vacancy. Okay. Yeah. How was the deputy governor supposed to help in securing the job vacancy? Uh, I was informed that the deputy governor were, uh, is in good terms with the management and the CEO of the Pussy Water and Sanitation Company, so it will be easier for any assistance. For any assistance? Yes. Thank you. You have 
intimated that you were at the time working at your business in Nairobi. Kindly tell us what kind of business you were doing in Nairobi. Uh, personally, I was uh, working with a company called Together's One as a, as a marketer. And uh, I had a joint business with my wife, uh, which was a salon, stroke Kinyozi. We also were also selling this uh, refilling gas, gas cylinders. Okay. Where was that business situated in Nairobi? Our business was uh, located in Ruai town, which was uh, opposite uh, Naiva supermarket. Who was running that business? My wife. What is the name of your wife? Uh, Evelyn Yaboke. Evelyn Yaboke. Yes. Thank you. So subsequently to that, you did apply for the position? Yes, I did. Do you remember what date you applied for the position? It was around mid-April. Mid-April? Yes. And were you short? Yes, my name is at number four. Number four? Yes. And what date was that when you scheduled to appear? Uh, it was the date we did an interview on the 25th. 25th of which month? May. 25th of May. Yes. Now, prior to the shortlisting and subsequent interview, did you make any other arrangements to secure the opportunity, the job opportunity? So after, yes. Proceed. What kind of arrangements did you make? So after the interview, I was uh, at home with my parents. So the DG uh, called my dad and I told him that he will help. He will help him secure the position. We, he called us to his residence uh, to make those arrangements. When you talk about his residence, where is that residence? Around Keumbu. One in? Keumbu. His Keumbu home. is yeah. in Kisi County? Yes. So did, were you part of that meeting? Yes, I was. Between your dad and the deputy governor? Yes, I was. Were you privy to the conversation between the deputy governor and your father? No, we sat at a, at a distance yes. while the deputy governor and my dad had a talk. Yes. Yes. And what did you understand was the, the outcome between the discussion between the deputy governor and your father? Uh, it was an agreement that uh, we pay uh, the sum of uh, 800,000 uh, 800, shillings for him to enable us secure the vacancy. What was the 800,000 supposed to do? And who are the beneficiaries of the 800,000 as per the conversation between your father and the deputy governor? Initially, as, uh, as I said, uh, he said he was uh, in touch with the CEO of Usi Water, a sanitation company. So he was the one who will enable us get the vacancy. Are you referring to the CEO or the MD of the company? Yes, the CEO or the managing director. The, same. the MD. Yeah. Correct. Thank you. Uh, did you have the money at the time? Or if you had, how had you raised that money? At the time uh, of this thing, we, we were aware it will uh, demand some uh, amount. So on agreeing on the amount uh, that we will submit, we, I had, uh, we had raised the money earlier before. I was operating a, a salon at Ruai. So after the interview, we, we were sure it was a guarantee that uh, the deputy governor, uh, being in his position, he was able to get us uh, the job. So we, I and my wife, we sold the salon, which we are operating at Ruai. We sold the salon to Peter Mungai, uh, the sum of uh, 500,000 shillings, which uh, is an agreement that we, we had sold the, the salon. Is that the agreement appearing at page 256 of the County Assembly's Band of Documents? Honorable Senators, I'm referring to, again, the bundle of documents from the County Assembly, Volume 1 at page 256. Confirm indeed that that is the agreement between you, your wife on the one hand, and the purchaser of the salon? Yes, this is the agreement. Now, Dennis, tell us, 
was your wife part of this agreement did she concur with your sentiments and plan to sell the business so that you can secure a, bo a job opportunity oh at first uh, my wife was not in agreement because now this is uh was our our lifetime savings for a period of uh, 13 years we had been in Nairobi for the period of 13 years so this was our lifetime savings so she was not of the idea that we sell the salon yes but uh, since uh, this was uh, an opportunity for us to shape our life i had to beg with her to plead with her so that he agrees to use their money for the occasion so subsequently she agreed for you to sell the salon yes and when you sold the salon do you remember what dates that was yes we, we the agreement we wrote on the, the 25th he gave us he paid us in two installments the first installment was a uh, 200,000 shillings and they look at the agreement and confirm the actual dates was yes. it 25th or 20th confirm Tw from it is the 25th confirm from the agreement there is a date written beneath the agreement was done on 20th but the, the first payment was made on 25th correct yes so the agreement was done on 20th yes and the first installment was to be paid on 25th of april yes was that before or after the shortlisting this was uh, after the shortlisting after the shortlist yes thank you and what did you do with the money immediately you got it from uh, the buyer of the salon? Uh, the money he gave us, uh, it was in cash. We, we carried the money home. Uh, we gave it to our parents to keep, us, uh, to keep it safe for us. Mr. Dennis yes. Mukaya, yeah. you are an accountant. Yes. And you are saying that you gave your parents money to keep for you. Yes. That does not sound very credible. Why would you feel the need? To give your parents money to keep for you you know at that time we were doing a clearance i was i could say we were selling all our items from nairobi to relocate to our rural home at that time we we, we even went to an extent of borrowing from this uh, mobile banking uh, from our bank accounts from uh, because now my wife was the one operating the, the business we were doing most of the transactions through my wife's number, phone number. So we even went to an extent of uh, borrowing money from KCB account, from M. Shuari, so that we can raise the full amount. So we felt it better. Uh, it should be kept by our parents because if we kept it, again, we could have gone to an extent of using the money. So it would not do the right uh, purpose. So you gave it to your parents because you felt you would have utilized the amount? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what business do your parents do? What do you, they do for a living? Oh, my, my when you talk about your parents, can you talk about your father and your mother? What do they do for a living? Okay, my, my father is a retired civil servant. He was working in the veterinary. Uh, uh, he retired. But he's, uh, he has some business at home. He's operating an Mpesa uh, shop with a small retail shop at home. He's operating an Mpesa shop? Yeah. Thank you. So, was the money subsequently uh, given to the deputy governor? Yes. When uh, the deputy governor requested the 800 uh, Kenyan shillings, we were uh, able to give him on the, the date of 28, we gave him 500,000. The 28th of which month? Uh, 28th of May. 28th of May? Yes. That was the year 2023? Yeah, last year. Where was that money handed over at? What venue was that? Uh, my, uh, my dad did a transaction of uh, 250 from his account. Uh, actually, it was 251,000 from his account to the DG's um, and PESA. And then I did my mother sent me uh, 250,000 to my account, Mpesa account, so that I could transfer uh, 
the same to the deputy governor. So I transferred the, uh, some of 249,000 uh, Kenya shillings because of uh, some transaction costs. Kindly of go to page 255 of the County Assembly's Band of Documents, Honorable Senators. I'm referring to Volume 1 again at page 255. Honorable Senators, I'm looking at the second last transaction contained at page 255. Mr. Dennis, tell us about that transaction. Where was that money being sent to and from who? And what was the time? And which number was used to send that money to? So this is uh, my M-Pesa. Uh, what is your M-Pesa number? Can you read it out? My M-Pesa number is 0725-487-300. So I did, uh, after receiving a transaction of uh, uh, 250000 from my mom, Anna Misati. Do you have proof that you first received money from your mom? Yes. Can you take us there? Look uh, at... Uh, the next page, the next page, Honorable Senators, is not paginated, but it's, if you flip, you will go to the next page. So that is a page after 255. So, the very first transaction, or rather, Mr. Dennis, yes. point at the Honorable Senators to that transaction where money was sent to your phone from your mom's account? Uh, the, the second page of my M-Pesa transaction is the first transaction which happened at uh, 8, 8 p.m. My mom sent me 50,000 Kenyan shillings. And again, he had uh, uh, in 7.51, he had sent the uh, same amount of 50,000 to make it 100. And then the first, uh, which was the first transaction, at uh, 7.44, yes. Just, just a, a little bit uh, yes. slowly. Honorable Senators, I'm referring to the fourth, fifth, and sixth transactions yes. appearing on that page. So you receive first 150,000? Yes. At what time? Uh, the first uh, transaction I received at uh, 7.44. They went for the four from who? From my mom, which is 150,000. The name of your mom? Anna Misati. Anna Misati. Yes. The second transaction? Uh, was at 751. Yes. 50,000. And then the last transaction that my mom sent was at uh, 751. Again, of how much? 50,000 shillings. And immediately after that, where do you transfer the money to? So after I received the, the full uh, 250,000 uh, 250, Kenya shillings, I transferred the amount from my MPESA uh, uh, mobile number to the deputy governor's phone number. How much money did you send to the deputy so governor's number? The first uh, amount that I sent to him uh, was at 8.33, which is 150,000. 150,000 confirmed the number that you used to send the deputy governor through his mobile number, kindly. The, uh, it's, it's not clearly indicated, but it ends with 700. Do you know his number? You have... Yes, I had it in my phone. You have quoted that number in your affidavit. Kindly, we can refresh your memory by looking at the affidavit. It is important for that number to be captured. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, the, the mobile money that I used to send the, the DG, the amount is 0711860700. And you repeat that? 0711860700. What was the name that came out after you sent the money? The name that came out is Robert Monda. Robert Monda. Yes. All this time, were you in the presence of the deputy governor? Yes. Or you are 
away from him? We were away from him, but in the same premise. The same premise? Yes. And that premise is where? Uh, his home. His home? Yes. So how many transactions did you make to the deputy governor in total from the M-Pesa? Uh, it's totaling to 249,000. 249,000. Yes. So the last transaction is the one appearing at page 255. Confirm that. The yes. second last transaction. Yes. That again is from your M-Pesa? Yes. To his M-Pesa? Yeah. Thank you. How did they receive the remainder of the amount, if any? After leaving uh, his uh, residence, we had given him a sum of uh, uh, 500,000 Kenyan shillings. So the initial agreement that was we had to pay the, the 500, uh, the 800,000 Kenyan shillings. So after leaving the place, we made an agreement that we shall uh, deliver the amount the following day, which was on a Monday. Actually, we went in his place on a Sunday. So the following Monday, we could deliver the, the balance, which was 300,000, at his office. Which, yeah. But on that very day, did he receive any other amounts of money from any of the persons you were in, comp in, the, in the company of? He only received uh, the amount from my father. From your father? Yes. Are you able to point us to that transaction where your father sent money to uh, the deputy governor? On the same day, second, yes. we are getting there, Honorable Senator. Just uh, at page 64, 64, 64 five. 65, 65 of the Deputy Governor's response, volume 2. Volume 2. Volume 2 of the DG's response. Can you show us the transaction where your father sent money to the deputy governor, appearing at page 65? It is on page uh, 65. On the same, uh, the same night of the uh, 28th, my dad made uh, actually four transactions. Uh, the first one was from his, uh, this is a joint uh, account, cooperative account, uh, between my dad and my mom. So the first transaction was 70,000. Uh, the second one was 70. And again, he did a transaction of 70. And then later, it was a... Uh, there's another transaction of 41. So it's totaling to 251,000 Kenya shilling. What was the nature of this transaction? It reflects that it's from a bank. How was that payment done from the bank to? It was done from uh, the bank to the Mpesa uh, uh, account of uh, the deputy governor. Deputy governor. Yes. But this is now a different number than the one I used. What number is that? Yeah, this number is 0702-000-220. Repeat that again. It is 0702-000-220. Who is the registered owner of that number? Uh, it's registered to the deputy governor. Deputy governor. Yes. That would total to how much? What you had given him and what your parents sent to no. the deputy governor? It's totaling to 500,000 Kenyan shillings. 500,000? Yes. Your allegation was that the ask was for 800,000. Yes. What happened to the balance? We agreed on the following day, which was on a Monday, we bring the balance of the 300,000 Kenyan shillings to his office, which is to the, the stadium, Usi Stadium. Thank you. Yes. Now, you have had the occasion to look at the response of the deputy governor in defense to that specific allegation? Not, not yet. You have not looked at it? Yes. I want to refer you to the deputy governor's response. What he said about why he had received money from you and from your father and what he did to it. I want you to look at that response. Paragraph 16. 
the deputy governor alleges that your father owed the deputy governor some money and that that money sent from you and from your father and from your mother were towards the payment of that loan. What do you have to say to that line of defense? Uh, uh, Honorable Speaker, I can say that this is a, it's a lie because uh, if we look at the whole thing, I am truly in this uh, uh, sending of uh, the amount to the deputy governor. And if at all this was a debt <coughs> that my dad was uh, paying uh, to the deputy governor, then if we look at uh, his uh, um, account, uh, corporate for accounts, joint account, he uh, the account holds more than what I sent. Let's go back to that account now that you've raised the issue. Yes. How much did your mom, mother and father jointly have at the time they were sending money to the deputy governor? And what was the balance after they sent money to the deputy governor? Honorable Senators, we are again making Stop. reference to the deputy governor's response. So after my dad uh, sent the, the last amount, which was for 1,000, in his account balance, uh, it was a balance of 1.3 million. So your father so, still had some balance in his yes, account? it was a balance of uh, 1.3 million. Indeed, if he was paying a debt, and this is a family, you could have done the whole transaction at a go. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, so your... I want to again to look at uh, that response and Mr. Sorry, Dr. Honorable His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Kisi alleges that he had loaned your father the amount of 600,000 some of which money had gone to pay fees for your child. I'm referring Honorable Senators at page 51 of the deputy governor's response, Did page 61, all the way, five, sorry, page five. Page five. Page Had you received any money from your father that, to your knowledge, was an advance from the deputy governor that you paid school fees for your child with, that now that day you're refunding? No. Have you ever sought any assistance from your parents towards the education of your child? Yes. This was after, the, after we had given the, the money to the deputy governor. We had sold everything we owed. Then we had gone back home. I was not in any financial position thereafter to take my daughter to school. Uh, Mr. Dennis, I have produced through the statements and I have seen a number of transactions between your father and the deputy governor as late as January 2024. Money flowing from your father to the deputy governor and vice versa are you aware why your father would occasionally send money to the deputy governor and vice versa because his defense is that they are long-term friends and they used to loan each other money and this was not an isolated case what do you have to say to that well, i cannot deny that they are uh, long-term friends for a long period of time actually it uh, exists 30 years uh, the main transaction between my father and uh, the DG is that my, my father is one of the officials of a circle that he leads at our and home. What is the name of that circle? Uh, it is called Kebobora Women Group. Kebobora? Yes. Yes. That's now our locality. is the treasurer. Uh, in many cases, in many occasions, uh, the deputy governor borrows money from the circle 
through my daddy's name, then he refunds with an interest. That's generally the business they're doing. I've been doing. Yes. But on this day, could it be one of such instances where your the deputy governor had borrowed money and was uh, being refunded to by your father? No, it's not one of the days. As I stated earlier, if actually uh, this was the borrowing and lending business, I am not uh, an official of the circle. Then I was not entitled to make a transaction to the deputy governor through my mobile uh, phone. Did you have any other reason to visit the deputy governor's home on 28th of May? Apart After. from the business of giving him money for securing the job vacancy, did you have any other business? No. Have you ever been to the deputy governor's home at any other time? No. What then does your presence mean against the defense of the deputy governor that it was a repayment of the loan? I was the owner of this uh, in all initiative. I was the one who was looking for employment. So I was to be there uh, to witness what was going on. Thank because you. This was my money. Are you aware if the deputy governor ever transmitted any money to the target of the bribe? Yes. And who was that target? Uh, the director of Pussy Water after sending him the full amount. What is the name of the managing director of Wasco? Uh, her name is Lucy Wahito. Lucy Wahito. Yes. And a look at the document before you. Yes. Honorable Senators, I'm looking at page 99 of the DG's response. Page 99 of the Deputy Governor's response. Is there any money sent to that very person, Lucy Wahito, the MD of Guasco, on that very day? Yes, it's a sum of 100,000 Kenya shillings. 100,000. Yes. What time was that money sent? It was sent on uh, date 28th, uh, May 2023, at 9:24 uh, p.m. 9:24 p.m. Yes. And what time had you sent the money to the deputy governor? Uh, the last transaction I made at uh, the first transaction I made at 8:33 uh, p.m. 8. Then an hour later, he sent money to the same Lucy, that is the MD of Guasco. Yes. The very company where you had applied and were shortlisted yes. for a position. Yes. Now, the deputy governor says that that money was sent erroneously, but interestingly, to the same person that he was meant to bribe. What do you say about that? I actually I don't know what to say, but... Uh, this this was uh, this was that transactions, but I actually believe this was a, a bribe so that he could. Uh, so In your previous discussions with the deputy governor and your father, yes. were you aware if Lucy Wahito was the person who was meant to be bribed by the amount of money you are giving? Actually, I did not know the name, but I know it was going to be to be given to the, uh, the uh, managing director. Yes. Now, who happens to be Lucy White? Happens to be Lucy. Yes. Thank you. Um, did you ever secure that employment at the Guasco company? No, I didn't. You did not? Yes. Did you make follow-ups with the deputy governor or your father, making a, an inquiry over the same? The, yes, I did. We made constant uh, follow-up uh, through my dad the deputy governor, uh, but we uh, did not receive any communication. Uh, communication. Now, Dennis Mukaya yes. Misati, yes. your own father, biological father, your mother will tomorrow appear before Senate, and they will label you as a liar. Why would you want to go against the statements of your own father? Why would your father be lying about 
the purpose of the money sent to the deputy governor? Actually, uh, uh, this is my life. That was my money. This was my lifetime savings. Uh, if my dad chooses to choose friendship over the truth, then let it be so. Thank you. <laughs> As Uh, are you done with the witness? Because it's breaking down. We, we can uh, pause for just 30 seconds. Uh, I'm sure he can recollect right. himself. Sergeant at arms kindly take care of the situation in the public gallery. Can we proceed, Mr. Dennis? <laughs> Kindly tell the Honorable Senators what is the re current relationship you have with your parents as a result of this? Actually, I don't have uh, anything against my parents. Uh, the fact is that uh, uh, we, this was our lifetime savings with my family. We have built this, uh, we had built this business for the last 13 years. Now, this was our opportunity to sell the business and get something that we could have the family. But we lost everything. After we lost everything, uh, the parents at home become uns became unsupportive. So we had to give uh, our home so that we can find somewhere where we can start all over again. And how did that affect you as a couple between you and your wife? Uh, just just so counsel, Senator Boni, what is your intervention? <laughs> and uh, just to remind Mr. Mr. Speaker, senators, you'll have an opportunity to engage the witness. So I hope you, whatever you want to raise, has got nothing to do with seeking clarification or asking questions. Mr. Speaker, purely on humanitarian grounds, I was requesting that you use standing order number one to allow the young witness probably five, max ten minutes for him to recompose himself. You can see, Mr. Speaker, sir, the witness is completely emotionally eroded. Uh, from the council, the, the witness is doing pretty well. That's why they're proceeding. Otherwise, that application can only come from the council, not from you, Honorable Senator. Proceed, council. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, I urge the witness to gather courage and, and proceed. Uh, D Mr. Dennis. Yes. How has this ordeal affected your family life between you and your wife? Uh, initially, uh, my wife was not in agreement that we sell our family business to relocate. So I had to persuade uh, that uh, she agrees with me. We shall get better after, after we secure that, that job. So we agreed 
we relocated to our home. So after we were disappointed, after we had not secure the opportunity, recruitment was done, people reported. So it was so stressful. Uh, my wife did not take it easy because he branded me a liar because now we have lost the family business. Uh, at that time, my wife was uh, expecting. This was after 12 years of trial. My firstborn is at three years old. Now, we had tried for all that period, but now she was expectant. Actually, during those hard times, my wife miscarried. <laughs> Just miscarried a little bit. So, so the old blame came back to me because initially she was not in agreement to, to sell the business. We got into much stress and depression. I had to look for a way uh, to, to sort out this issue. We had to leave home. We had to look for elsewhere so that we can uh, start over again, as I said. Thank you. Yes. You have also made allegations against threat to your life. Kindly tell us how is that, how that is the case. So after I knew appointments were done, and actually there's no job, uh, there's no vacancy, our savings are all gone. So I actually, uh, this one of my friends I've been following on social media, uh, called, uh, uh, by that time it was 2020, we have been, I was first been following him since 2020, 2020, 2022. Uh, now he was now the elected um, MCN uh, of Ichuni Ward. I actually approached him. I inquired if he could help for me to secure the money that I did what I gave to, uh, to the deputy governor. And that is the move of this motion? Yes. What did the move of the motion advise you to do after you brought this to his attention? So when I reported this to him, he actually he took it as a joke until I provided the documents. I, I, he requested for the MPESA statement showing the transaction, actually I did. Then he advised me to make a formal complaint so that he can follow up with the deputy governor for my refund. Actually, I knew he was doing it so that I can get my refund. I never knew he could just reach this, this far. So it was not your intention for you to find yourself at the Senate yes. uh, on the impeachment charges. Have you ever received your money back? No. Have you made any follow-ups in any government agency to recover your money? So after I left home to uh, I located to Nairobi, I made a, a complaint to EICC of the same. Have EICC summoned anyone in respect to this issue? After making the complaint, they summoned the CEO of uh, Lucy Water. Who is that? Lucy Waita. So Lucy was summoned by EICC? Yes. First one to your complaint? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I think I want to stop at that and yield the witness to my learned friend for cross-examination. Thank you. Counsel for the Deputy Governor, it's uh, it's now. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Misati. I said good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Okay. Now, I want to start with a few preliminary issues. Uh, from the cross-examination, um, you say you've seen the response by your father and your mother. Yes. Yes. And you see that their position is that they were refunding money they had borrowed from uh, the deputy governor. Yes. 
And what did you say is your position about that uh, position of your parents? Sorry? What is your reaction to the point made by your parents that uh, the money was a refund of a, 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 a loan that had been given to them? Yeah, actually, it's a lie. You, you are telling this and yes. it, it, it's a lie? Yes. Okay. Now, um, you, in your affidavit, you admit readily that uh, your father and uh, the deputy governor have been friends for many years. Yes. That's a fact? It's a fact. Okay. It, do you know whether they were borrowing each other money over the years? Yes, they have been uh, borrowing money. They have been borrowing but money. I can actually say the deputy governor has been the one who has been borrowing money. Let's listen to my yes. question. Yes. You admit that indeed over the years they have been borrowing each other money. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, it is also true your father and the deputy governor have uh, aggravate business in Kisi, isn't it? Yeah. Have aggravate businesses. Yeah. Both of them, yeah. separately. It's not a joint business, it's each of them is running their own business, isn't it? To date, no. Sorry? To date, there's no business. Okay, they used to run. Yeah, they used to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. And it is also true that they used to borrow each other's stocks. Yes. Okay. And, um, so your position is that in respect to this specific point that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Misati had borrowed money in November, October 2022 is a lie. Why do you, having admitted that they borrow each other money, what makes you distinguish this one of uh, this refund of money borrowed in uh, November, October 2022? What distinguishes this exchange? So my reason is that uh, I was uh, as he said, he was uh, we were giving a refund. Yes. Uh, I was not involved in their transactions at first. Okay. I have come from Nairobi. Yes. To Kisi. Yes. <clears throat> For my first time of a period of uh, of a long period of time. Okay. So here so comes. Th yes. That's okay for yes. me. Yeah. Um, so you admit that you do not know what their transactions were. The, the the one I sent to the deputy. Yes, I know. Yeah, so, so let's go back again to my question. Yes. My question is, what is the basis, having admitted that they borrowed each other's stock, they borrowed it at each other's money, what is it that distinguishes the case of this 500,000 that Mr. and Mrs. Misati are saying we borrowed from Monda in November and were refunding him in May 2023? All along on their borrowing uh, business, I have never been included. You don't. But in this case, okay. I am. So, could we then, could the record of the Senate then reflect that your point is that you're asking for your money, but you wouldn't know whether or not they had borrowed each other in November 2022? Actually, what, what? Do you know whether or not they borrowed each other in November? That, that was not a borrowing. Sorry? It was not a borrowing that we are, uh, we are not referring. Your position is that they didn't borrow each other in November? I don't know. You but don't that, know. At that time, okay. Then let's leave it there because that's what I was. I wanted you to confirm yes. whether you can say for a fact that they didn't borrow each other, or you don't know. Yes. Now, um, you say also that uh, in your affidavit, I've seen quite a number of paragraphs where the communication was between your father on your behalf and uh, the deputy governor, isn't it? Yes. Uh, you have your affidavit there? So much page. Uh, honorable members, I am referring to page 17 of the deputy governor's bundle. Page 17, please. You have your affidavit there? Yes, I'm Yes. Here. Could you confirm that paragraph five is information you received that got to you through your father and it was not a conversation directly with uh, uh, the deputy governor? Paragraph five, you said that in early 2023, my father had learned through deputy governor of job vacancies with Quasco. That's what you've said? Yes. That information came to you through your father, isn't it? Yes. Not a 
personal conversation with the deputy it governor. It was through my father. Okay. Yes. Let's go to paragraph 6, please. In paragraph 6, you said that on 21st April, while I was working with a company known as Together as One, finance as marketer, my father brought to my attention. That information also came to you through your father. You did not talk with the deputy governor. It came through my father. Okay. Yes. Let's look at paragraph 9. In paragraph 9, you said that the deputy governor called us to his home in Kisi within days of being informed by my father about the post and before the interview was carried out. You can see that? Yes. That also came through your father, not, not directly between you and the, the governor. It's all the communication was uh, done through my father. Okay. Yes. I would like you to look at paragraph 11D. 11D. At the, the next page. Are you at D? Yes. You said Kenya Shillings 250,000 was sent to uh, Dr. Monda through my father's safari com line. That is also information in the hands of your father, not you personally, isn't it? This was the information from my, my father. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And lastly, paragraph 17. You said that you informed your father of intention to report the matter to ESCC and your father told Dr. Monda, and Dr. Monda was upset. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, having gone through that, could you confirm that you, in terms of the whole of this transaction, you've not had a direct conversation between yourself and Dr. Monda, and that you would tell your father to communicate with Dr. Monda? All the communication was done through my dad. I've never your had father. any direct communication. Okay, yes. Thank you. Could we also confirm that apart from not having a personal conversation with Dr. Monda, you did not have any telephone conversation with him? It's true. No telephone conversation? Yeah. And no, no uh, uh, con uh, oral con conversation. Now, you, did you say you've been to Dr. Monda's office on, house only once? Did you say that when you are being led in evidence in chief? In, in his office? Yes. Yes, oh, sorry, I mean his house. In his house or home? Let's start with his house. House we went to on the 28th of I May. understand that. Yes. I'm saying that was the only time you've gone there? That was the first time I went there. That was the first time? Yes. What does it mean to say first time? Have you subsequently gone there? No. Okay, so it's the only time? Yeah, it's the only as time. You stand here today. Yeah, it's the only okay. time. Okay. Now, it is also your testimony that on that date of 28th, when you remitted the sum of 249,000, Dr. Monda and your father were seated at a distance talking as friends. Yes. And you were separated from them. Yeah, I was with my okay. other brothers. You were with your other brothers. How many yes. of them? We were with my other three brothers. So you are four brothers. You are four. Okay. Yes. At a distance. Okay. Did you participate in the conversation between Dr. Monda and uh, your father? No, did I didn't. Did you, for instance, say, no, it was on a Saturday, or did you make any contribution? Did you participate in that conversation at all, one way or the other? No. Okay. Okay, now, it is your case that the money belongs to you? Yes. Okay. It is also your admission that you do not know whether your father owed Dr. Monda any money. Sorry? So, as you stand here before the Senate, yes. your position is that the money belongs to me, Dennis, isn't it? Yes, that was my money. Simultaneously, you cannot say for a fact, from where we've just come in cross-examination, that Joseph Misati, your father, did not owe Dr. Monda any money. You cannot say that. If they had, I didn't know. Just answer it. the question yes. I've just asked you. Yes. You cannot say for a fact whether Joseph and your mom or Dr. Man, Dr. Monda any money. You cannot confirm that. I cannot confirm. Thank you. Mm. Now, let's go to paragraph Paragraph 10, uh, we will come back to the other paragraphs. I had paragraph 10. Honorable members, I'm referring to page 18 of uh, Deputy Governor's Bundle, page 18, paragraph 10. In paragraph 10, you say that I and my father voluntarily gave him Kenya shilling 799,000 
an amount meant to secure me a job, believing him as deputy governor with influence over Quasco, which is an entity of the county government, which he deputizes as head of government. That's what you, you, you stand by that statement, isn't it? Yes, I do. Okay. And so if this were a court, you would be ready now to be sentenced, isn't it? You are admitting you are a criminal. Uh, I'm not admitting, I'm not a criminal. You're saying, you're saying, I gave out a bribe. Why aren't you saying that here? Mm -hmm. huh? Actually, this, I cannot, I can say that... Oh, paragraph 10, you're saying mm -hmm. you gave out the money with the intention of getting a job. Isn't that what you're saying? A bribe for, with the intention of getting a job. I only succumbed uh, to pressure from the okay. big office. And Your state uh, of mind aside, yes. all I'm saying is you are admitting before the Senate that as you stand and as you testify and even as you complain, you are saying I am coming with first of all an admission that I'm a criminal, isn't it? I'm not. Haven't you said you're a criminal here that you're giving out a bribe? This was... Or you think giving a bribe, a bribe is not a crime? At first they called it a facilitation fee, facilitation fee. Others call it a I I don't know. Now you are calling it a bribe. Okay. So. Who came, who complained to Honorable Siwaja? Who has been peddling this story that I bribed? Isn't it you? Isn't it you who has been saying I bribed and I didn't get a job? I told Honorable Siocha, I gave... So then, let's, yes. let's, I want to move on yes. from this point then. Mm. Are you then now telling the Senate it was not a bribe, it was a facilitation? Do you, are you repaptizing the, the name of this 799? That's how you called it. It was a facilitation, not a That's bribe? That's how you called it, yes. Not a bribe? Yes. Okay. Mm. Now, your hope was, and it was somewhat a gamble, was that if I give out 799, I'll get a job. That was the state of your thinking, based on what you brought to the Senate. Yes. Uh, you are gambling that at least the 799 will fake me a job, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, I said you are gambling with getting a job, isn't it? You are hoping to get a job? Yes, I was, okay. I was hoping, yeah. Was now, hoping. may I ask you as a general proposition, is it true that you by nature engage in gambling? What, what do you mean? That you are a gambler. That's not true. It's not true? Yes. Okay. Say that again. Are you saying, you swore to say the truth, isn't it? Yes. Are you swearing that by nature you are not a gambler, you don't bet? Actually, betting is a yes, sir. So you gamble. You gamble on the job and you are a gambler generally in life, isn't it? Okay, I would like to, honorable members, I would like to go to page 22, 21 and 22 of the Deputy Governor's Bundle. Uh, do you have your MPSA, your MPSA record there? You yes. are relying on your MPSA record, isn't it? Yes. Are you, I would like you to look at the first page. Your MPSA was obtained on the 29th of January 2024. You can see that? Your MPSA obtained on 21st. 29th January 2024. Are you there? Yes. Okay, I would like you to look at the entry of the 28th of May 2023. It should be the third, the fourth last entry from the bottom. Are you there? Which one? The fourth last entry. Do you want me to help you? Right, here. Well, you are there? Yes. It's true that in that entry, you had about 400 shillings and you spent about 100 shillings in gambling, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Let's go to page two. Okay, at page two, I'd like you to look at the entry at number, uh, the end, your transaction at, uh, on the 28th of May, the same day we are talking about, at 12 o'clock. Are you there? Yes. 12 o'clock. At that time, you had 300 shillings and you spent 200 in gambling, isn't it? Yes, yes. And then at um, at 10.21, on the same 28th May, the same day we are talking about money being sent to Dr. Monda, 
out of a sum of three, uh, you, you didn't have any money, you had only 34 shillings, but somehow you spent 100 shillings in gambling, isn't it? Yes. Then the same, the, okay, the day before at six, at 1851, you, you, you spent another amount, isn't it, at, uh, at another 100 shillings and left a balance of 34 shillings in your account, isn't it? Okay, and I don't want to go through all this because of time, but you agree that generally your statement shows in yes, I think. Okay. The same way you are gambling with the governor and the job. Yes. By throwing. Okay, thank you. Now, I would like to move on then to the big question here. Whose money was it? Your position is it is your money, but you do not know whether Mo Dr. Monda and Mr. Just, Mr. and Mrs. Misati owed the money. Now, I would like us to just discuss on the face of what you came with to the assembly and then subsequently to the Senate. It is true from what my colleague, Mr. Mutuma, took you through that you confirm money came from your mom's MPESA account and Misati to your MPESA account, isn't it? It's true. And that is the money. So let's start. You received money from uh, uh, honorable members. That MPESA statement is at page 75 to 88, but with particular reference to the entries at page 87. 87, uh, honorable members. 87, page 87. Could you, I, um, which bundle are you using? Sorry? Let me see the bundle. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Are you at page 87? Yes, sir. Okay. Could you confirm that the entry of 28th May at 2001, are you there? Entry at 2001, you must have seen that. 2001? 2001, can I help you? Next to the stamp, you can see it. Yes, yes. Okay. You confirm that at uh, 2001 on the 28th, you received 50,000 from Mrs. Misati, your mom. Yes. And then on, uh, at 1951, you received another 50,000 from her. Yes, I did. And lastly, at uh, 1944, you received 150,000 from her. Yes. Okay. And these are exactly the amounts you remitted to Dr. Monda, less 1,000? Yes. Okay. Wh why did you keep 1,000? This was for transaction costs. Okay, yes. so you kept 1,000 for transaction. Now, so your mama sent you 200,000 flat. Uh, sorry. 250. 200, uh, 250. Yes. But you remit to Dr. Monda only 149. Yes. And you kept 1,000. Sorry, you remitted 249 and kept 1,000, isn't it? Actually, it was not 1,000 after the, the transaction. Cost, yes. I don't know that much. To make the account. Do you know how much it you was said? less? It was less a thousand. It was less a thousand. Yeah, because of the Now the question I have for you is: Did you call your mom and ask her to, to request her to withhold one thousand shillings? Sorry, you withheld one thousand from her, isn't yes, it? Yes. Yes. Did you request her to withhold that one thousand? Did she authorize you to keep that one thousand? No. And did your father authorize you to keep that one thousand? My dad told me to send at two hundred forty-nine. Your father yeah, told it you. was my father because okay. we were here with my father. Okay, yeah. and it is because you needed to shoulder, you needed to shoulder, you needed to cushion yourself against the expenses of this transaction, isn't it? Hmm? Isn't it? Yeah, that was the. Uh, so you were saying, yes. I don't want you to incur an expense. You can keep one thousand, send two hundred and forty-nine, isn't it? But this was. Uh, no, no, no. We must go through this. So he told you, because that's my instructions, he told you, I don't want you to spend your money. So send 249, keep 1,000 being the charges that Safaricom would in, that you would incur with Safaricom for passing on this money, isn't it? That's not true. What, what is the truth position? Uh, if, we could have, if my dad, after making the first transactions, mm -hmm. actually my dad did the first transactions to the, the deputy governor. 
he had done a total of transaction of uh, 100. Let's just go back so that we don't spend too yes. much time. Yeah. Why were you keeping 1,000? Let's just put it like that. Then we because can. Yes. my dad had yes. sent him 251 with an extra 1,000. Mm -hmm. You get. So I sent 100, uh, 249 yes. to make it a total of 500. So if this money was yours, was, why was your father, if this money was yours, why would your father be concerned about whether or not you would spend money to remit the amount? Why would he bother? Isn't it because it was his money and he didn't want you to go at a loss? It was actually, he, uh, he wanted to make the full payment of 500,000 Kenya shillings. I'm so saying, your father, the reason is because your father didn't want you to spend money on his business, isn't it? No, that's not true. Okay. Yeah. And anyway, I'll move on uh, from there. So now, so let's say, so you, your position is that this money your mom was sending was your money. Is that your position? Yes, it okay. is. Now, without spending so much time on that point then, could you confirm that you have not brought anything to show that you have not given us any paper trail to show that money came from you to your mom's MPS account. We, we, I gave the full amount, 800 to no, my parents. No, just answer my, my question. Mom. My question so, is, yes. we have paper trail. We've traced how yes. money came from your mom and into your account then to Monda, isn't it? Yeah. You've shown us uh, uh, ESCC documents and so on and so forth. I'm saying in the same way you are so diligent, You've not given us, with the same diligence, documents showing that on a given date you remitted the sum of 250000 to your mom, which is a basis for you to say this money was mine originally and my mom was just a custodian. There was no documents? Thank you. Yes. There was no document. Now, in your statement, I want you to go to page... Um, Page 19, page 19, paragraph 11D. Eleven D, are you there? Yes. In that one, you say two hundred and fifty thousand through my father, my father Savarikom, two hundred and fifty thousand was remitted, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now let's start. This is wrong, isn't it? This is mistaken. This is not accurate. Is this correct? This is not correct. This is wrong. Yes. Okay. What did you realize it is wrong? Actually, you know, the transaction that my dad did. No, 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 no. Yes. So, after you, you went to see Honorable Siyach and told him. This, that's not true. That's not what, those are not the allegations. Let me explain. Uh -huh. Okay. During, uh, you actually said when we, we were making this transaction. No, no, no. I my don't dad want you to go a long way. Uh, I thought you answering my question. My question is simply this. You had to meet that paragraph. Uh, 11D, paragraph 11D saying that your father remitted 250,000 through Savaricom line of your father is wrong. You admit that, isn't it? This statement is Okay, and my yes. question was simply this. Yes. When did you realize that was a wrong, that, that is inaccurate? Uh, when I go to, to see my, my father's statement. So you saw it for the first time when your father explained yes. and said, no, 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 I didn't send them PESA to Dr. Monda, isn't it? Uh, you know, the initial case so, was... No, 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 just, just limit yourself to my mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. So, at when, when your father responded, then you realized that, they, that 250 was paid to Dr. Manda, isn't it? Yes. How? The transactions was done with uh, secretly between my dad and the DG. Yes. The first transaction. Yes. Then he came back to me saying... No, 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 said, we are talking yes. about a different issue. The question yes. is simply that was it paid through Safaricom? No. When did I learn it? When my father responded. Yes. You realize, let me just put it directly to you then. You realize that the money was pulled out from cooperative bank account directly to Dr. Monda, isn't it? Sure. That's the first time you realized. Yes. Kumbe, this transaction was not M-Pesa to M-Pesa. Okay. It was actually bank to, M to Dr. Monda's account, isn't it? Now, was there any time when you knew your money was at cooperative bank? Yourself? Was, okay, let's start. Did you put your money at any time at cooperative bank account of your father and your mother? No, I gave the full amount in cash. I said you I, gave the two of them in yes, cash? Yes. No, no, so you didn't know they were in Sabaricom or in Mpesa? So wherever they okay. chose to keep it, no. I did not Okay, know. Thank, thank you very much. Yes. I would like to move on. Yeah. You also say that your father remitted 250,000. Is that correct? Was it 250? 
251. It was 251. Yes. So even in that sense, this statement is also wrong. Yes, it was 251. Now, I would like to put it to you that the reason why you don't know that the money was from Cooperative Bank, that the money was 251, is because Dr. Monda and your father were talking at a distance as you already told this Senate, isn't it? That's not true. What's not true? Uh, you know, we live in a world of uh, technology. Yeah. So if I make any transaction between me and you, it's okay. personal. I cannot tell it's no, I think you're, no, no, that's irrelevant. Yes. All I'm asking you, yeah. if you were seated with Dr. Monda and your father, you would have heard that your father was saying, I will give you the money from Cooperative Bank, isn't it? You would have heard that. You didn't hear that, did you? We sat in a distance. You at a distance? Yes. Neither would you have heard about 251? Yes. Okay. Now, so let's say for argument's sake that they discussed the bribe. That story of whether or not this money was for a bribe or a refund would be what your father would tell you at, when you're leaving the place, isn't it? Because you're not seated together and discussing, please, is this work worth 1 million or 500,000 or 799 or 800? You are not there to listen to that conversation as to whether or not this money was a bribe. It must be what your father told you as you walked out, isn't it? As we've seen in paragraph 5, 6, 9, 11, and 17. I think, uh, honorable members, I don't uh, see a need why. Sorry? I don't see a need anywhere why mm -hmm. I should go with all my sons mm -hmm. to, uh, to the DG's house mm -hmm. or his home mm -hmm. to pay a debt. To pay a debt, mm -hmm. as he says, mm -hmm. uh, of which he could have done it comfortably from, uh, from our home direct. But they are friends, isn't it? They are friends, yes. And in your, both your affidavit and your statement, you said they visited each other several, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And uh, this visit was not exception. Uh, the only distinction is that you went there with him for the first time. It That's was the only uh, distinction. Just my first, okay. first time. But yeah. let's go back to the issue that I would really like the Senate to get. Eh? Mm -hmm. The question of the body of the conversation between the deputy governor and your father is an issue that you could only learn from your father as you're walking out, isn't it? Because you're not seated to them. Actually, when the deputy uh, governor called us, we knew what we were going to do at his home. We knew. I will ask you again. Yes. You didn't hear what they were discussing. We, I did not hear what you they were discussing. You did not hear what they discussed. But my dad and shared. And so you don't know yes. whether this money was for a job? Would you? I knew. How do you know and you couldn't hear? Because my... Because they had discussed my, earlier. My father had updated us before leaving home. Be, sorry? Before leaving our home okay. to Mona's place. Yes. That, that's still okay with me. Yes. So it is your father who is telling you we are going to pay Dr. Monda to help us get a job. Is that your point? Monda had called him. Yes, we visit him. That's place. still okay. Yeah, I, yes. I mean, the, the point I'm just the real bottom line, uh, Dennis, yes. if you don't mind, mm -hmm. is that there is no point at which you and Dr. Monda discuss whether or not he can get you a job. All you know is what your father told you. Yes, all the Thank communication you. was okay. through my dad. Okay. Yes. Now let's look at paragraph five of your affidavit. You say that in early in in early. In early April 2023, my father had learned through the deputy governor of a job at uh, Quasco. You seen that? Uh, paragraph page, page, page 17. Page 17, uh, honorable members. Page 17, paragraph 5. Are you there? Yes. So in early, April, in early April 2024, my father had learned through the governor of job vacancies. Your position is that it is, it is a governor who told your father there. That's what you're saying? Yes, that's my position. The source of information was, here, was the deputy governor telling your father? Yes. Okay, let's look at paragraph 9 of your affidavit. The next page, page 18. At page 18, he said that the deputy governor called us to his home in Kisi within days of being informed by my father about the post and before the interview. You can see that? Yes. Okay. So, at paragraph 5, you're saying 
the traffic of information is from the deputy governor to your father. Yes. In paragraph 9, you are saying the source of the traffic is your father calling the deputy governor. The Senate is to take which, who initiated this discussion about the job. Is it as in paragraph 5 that it is the deputy governor who initiated it, or it is your father who initiated it as in paragraph 9? Uh, it is the deputy governor who called my dad. So paragraph yes. 9 is inaccurate? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, I would like us to look at uh, paragraph 6. So, uh, the governor, according to you, governor calls your father, tells him there's a job, uh, and then your father tells you to scout, you use the word scout, you scout it, and so on and so forth, isn't it? Yes. And then at paragraph 6, then, you say that on Friday, 21st April 2023, while I was working with a company known as Together as One, as a marketeer, my father brought to my attention the advertisement for job vacancies with Quasco on its website. I downloaded the advert and applied for the post of commercial manager. Is that statement, do you stand by that statement as it is? the information, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. When was the first time you knew on the face of that statement? It was on 21st, isn't it? Uh, from Seven hundred and ninety-nine happens after you've made the application, isn't it? After I did my interview. After you did your interview. Yes. And you did your interview. I know in cross exam in evidence in Kiev you say the interview was on twenty-fifth of May. Yes. The correct position is that it was on fifteenth of May, isn't it? So we did the interview. So Sorry. Interview. Yes. It was on fifteenth May, isn't it? It was around twenty-fifth. No, no, Lucy says, and even you have said in other places it was... You can see from the... Yes, we can see from your letter of invite. Uh, at page... Uh, I will get the date in a minute and then probably... Okay, uh, if you could go to page... Uh, page... Uh, Forty. If you could go to page forty. You are shortlisted, isn't it? I'm just trying to locate your name. I'm sorry about this. Uh, it on page. Yes, page 35. 39. Yeah, 35. Huh? 39. 39. Yeah, that's the, the list of the short list. Yes, okay. Yes. So when was it, when, when is the interview? 26th May. That's when the interview is? Yes. See, 39. Page 39. <laughs> this is a short list of human resource manager. Why are you applying for short? For short? We for did, human resource manager? Uh, we did the mod. Uh, the, the same. Would you look at page 35, please? Page 35, yes. Anyway, let, let me yes. do this. Eh? this I 20, don't see the date. 25th May. Yeah? Sorry? It's on 25th May. If you look at the bottom of page 36. Yeah. Page 36, are you at page 36? Yes. Does it show the date at the bottom there? Yes. Sure, of the interview? Sure. Yes. Okay. So when was your interview again, uh, my friend? This shows when the shortlisting was done, date 15. Okay, 15. But the interviews were on 25th. Okay. Yes. Uh, I will, uh, we, we will come back to that. Yes. But you are telling this Senate, you learned of the adverts on 21st, you made the application, you are shortlisted, and you went for the interview. 
before you discuss about the bribe, that's that's really what I want. I want us to. I want the point that in time at which the issue of bribe was discussed. You are saying it was after the interview or before the interview? After. After the interview. Yes. Okay. So that interview could have been 25th May. Yes. Okay. Now, before that date, when the interview was done, you had not discussed raising money to pay Dr. Monda. Uh, we 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 had my dad told me that uh, uh, it will be required, yes. but uh, at that time the deputy had not communicated. Okay, yes. and and he told you when when around when and I'm okay if you can't remember, just give us after, a general timeline. That's around after my. Uh, that was around April, towards the end of April. Now. Around April, around April. Yeah, towards the end. Sorry, towards the end of April. You made your application on 21st April, isn't it? Yes. And you said towards the end of April. So we are looking at around 25th to 20, 25th to 23 is when your father tells you it's likely some amount will be required to get the job. This it? April, we are talking about May. May is when we give yes. the amount, yes. Yeah, what, what I'm asking you, Dennis, is yeah. when, with, when did the subject of being bribed come up? After my interview. Which After your interview, yes. Okay, and you're telling this Senate the interview was on 25th, yes, 25th of May, and before that the issue of uh, bribe had not been discussed. Uh, it was uh, it was not been discussed, but we had an idea. After my interview, that yeah. something will be required. Okay. Yes. So, so tell this Senate again. So you are saying, before you did your interview on 25th. Dr. Monda had not asked for anything, but you, in your place, you suspected he might need. I, I cannot tell the communication which, which took place between my father and the deputy governor. So the first time you had communication for, from Dr. Monda was post-interview on 25th of May. That's the first time Dr. Monda spoke and said, please bring me 800,000, according to you, from your father. I cannot tell because they have well, they usually talk. Okay. Yes, that's okay if yeah. you don't remember. But you gen your position is that the earliest Dr. Monda spoke to you, asked about any money, was after the interview. Yes. But before that, he had not asked for any, any money. Yes. Okay. Now, you said something I didn't know. You said before he asked you for the money after the interview on the 25th May, you suspected he might need some money. You know, I told you all communication was done. Just answer the question. Yes. You had said that earlier, yes. I, or you are retracting it. Did you suspect that you will need some money? To get some money, what do you mean? I, to Did give some money or to get some money? To give him some money for the job. Yes. He, from where you see that you knew he might need? Yes. But he had not told you? Yeah. Okay. Now, so we are looking at the date of application of 25th. We are looking at an interview done on 20, sorry, we are looking at an application met on 21st of April and an interview done on um, 25th May. Now I'd like us to go to you, uh, the Deputy Governor's panel, page 256. Uh, honorable members, I'm looking at volume one of the County Assembly bundle. County Assembly Bundle, page 256. Are, are you there, my friend? Are you at page 256? No, no, I'm looking at this, your, your bundle, this one. That's volume. Page 256, but this bundle here. Which bundle? Page 256, please. Page 256, the agreement, basically, are you there? Two fifty six. It is after something like this. I don't know. 
Mr. Speaker, am I allowed to go next to him and so that we move on as they look for the page? Please, if you can assist, that will be okay. 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 Yeah, now, uh, Mr. Dennis, uh, I would like you to see the bottom of that agreement. In evidence in chief, you admit that you made that agreement on the 20th, 20th of April 2023, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, keeping in mind the timelines you've said, you applied on 21st of April, you went for interview on 25th of May, and then the request for a bribe was raised by Dr. Monda, according to you. By 20th of April 2023, when you're selling your sal saloon for 500000 Dr. Monda had not told you anything about a bribe, isn't it? You are only suspecting that he will ask for a bribe. I did not know any communication. Sorry? I did not know any communication uh, from Monda to my dad at that time. Okay, so when you're selling it... At, at this time, I was not even at home, I was in Nairobi. Yes, I know you are in Nairobi. Yes. And so at that time, when you're selling it, you had no communication about any bribe being required. We, uh, my dad told me we, uh, we, we will shift from Nairobi uh, to Kisi. Okay. It was necessary to make the job arrangements. Okay. So I to... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So, uh, Dr. Monda, if you say your interview was on 25th of May, the issue of the need to use the money you had, the 500,000 and whatever else, came a month later, on 25th of May. This is 20th of April. Yes. And Dr. Monda is asking for money in, and I'm not saying he did, I'm saying according to your case, he asked for it a month later on 25th of May, isn't it? Yeah. All this time you're holding the money. I was not holding the money. Uh -huh. The whole amount I gave it to my dad. I told you the operator business. Yes. So I gave them the whole amount okay. to keep safe. So I, I have the greatest respect for you, greatest possible respect for you, uh, Mr. Dennis. But when you cry and say, I sold my saloon, you are selling saloon from your own mind that a bribe might be required. Dr. Monda is not the one who told you, I need money. And when you are selling it, it was not because Monda told you to, to sell your saloon. As I stated earlier, I do not know any communication yes. between my dad. So why are you crying? Where Why are you crying and it's not Dr. Monda who told you to sell your saloon or okay. forced you to sell your saloon? Where? He had not told you to give him any bribe. So where is my business? Where did it go to? Yeah, that. When you sold it on 20th, Dr. Monda had not spoken to you, had he? Okay, we are, okay. where are the proceedings? Okay, the anyway, I think I've made my point to the Senate. Yes. I'd like to move on to a different issue. Mm. And I probably just want to finish because I know you need, uh, your colleagues need time. Um, so you said you, Dr. Monda also threatened you, isn't it? Yes. That's the other count against Dr. Monda. Now, we are agreed, Doctor, you don't, you didn't, you never spoke with Dr. Monda at any point on phone, isn't it? Uh, every communication was done through my dad. Your father. Yes. And so even the threat was, came through your father? No, this was, uh, it came through now, uh, it's a uh, honorable signature. Uh, whom I reported the issue to yes. and uh, told me to write a formal statement. No, no, I don't know if you are mixing the issues. Yes. We are talking about being threatened. Yes. We are in agreement this far that there was no communication between you and Dr. Monda. Every time you needed to communicate with Dr. Monda, you do it through your father, isn't yes. it? Yes. So the question is, you at a certain point labor under the feeling that you have been threatened. That feeling was communicated to you by your father, or by who, or by what? You know, when I told my dad I want to make a formal complaint, it was not of the idea. Please just answer the question yes. directly. It is your father who told you. Yeah, Dr. Through, Monda is very upset and uh, say, has threatened your life. He uh, did not say, okay, I got the information from my dad. Yes. And also got so some the Senate can then rest and say, knowing that the point that you are threatened was communicated to you by your father, that it came from Dr. Monda, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now that's good enough. I want to move on from there. Now, look at paragraph uh, paragraph 17. I have two last issues I want to discuss. Okay. First of all, paragraph 12. You have nothing to show that any 300,000 was given to Dr. Monda, do you? Other than saying it, other than word of mouth, no, you don't have. Yes. 
and you are your witness for the point that 300,000 was given to Dr. Monda is your father, Mr. Joseph Misati, isn't it? Yes, I was with my he was, dad. He was. And he will come and testify and say, yeah. I was with my son when we gave Dr. Monda the money. Yes, I was with him. Okay. Now, the, let's move on to paragraph 17. You say, I informed my father and the deputy governor of my intention. No, 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 paragraph 15. You say that I thereafter wrote a demand letter to the deputy governor. Could you confirm that in the totality of the documents you've brought, you've not given us a copy of that demand letter? What, uh, sorry, what I did after the complaint to the Honorable Siocha, Wycliffe Siocha? No, no, I'm just asking. Yes. We have documents here which the Senate is looking at us. You've seen we've gone through. That letter is not amongst the letters. There is no demand letter, isn't it, that you've brought to this? Senate or to the Assembly, isn't it? I gave the copy to Honorable Siocha. And so you don't know, it's, doctor, it's Mr. Siocha, Honorable Siocha will explain it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, let's move on. Then you reported to ESC, isn't it? Yes, I did. Now, I would like you to, Honorable Members, I want to refer to my, our bundle, DG's bundle, page 16, where the letter of ESC is. Now, could you confirm that this is not a letter of complaint? This letter at page 16. Uh, why do they keep taking away the document from you, Dennis? Okay, you are at page 16. So page 16 is a letter dated 6th of February 2024 delivered to the, to the ESCC on 20th of February, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, in that letter, that's not the letter you used to make your complaint, isn't it? This is a follow-up letter. Let's just go direct like that. This is a follow-up letter. Okay. Yeah. Have you brought this assembly, this Senate, a copy of your letter of complaint tabulating the issues you have complained against, Doctor? The, the complaints were recorded. Yes. And there was no uh, end document given. So, so you may, ESCC, you have yeah. nothing to show it? Yeah, it's only the recording that they did at the ESCC. Okay. Yes. And you have no reference number? We, actually, we, there was no reference number given. Now, this Senate is investigative in this kind of matters and might want to know whether that report was made. Could you tell this uh, Senate, what day did you make this report to ESCC? It was before this. Uh, no, I'm saying, so I you were prepared to make this case. Mm -hmm. You're saying you reported to ESCC. Could you tell us, was it on 14th of February 2023 or 16th or whichever date? Could you give us a specific date? Or you don't, you don't have a date? I cannot remember the specific okay. date. Now, uh, if this, which, which place did you report this to? ESCC. Inter Where? Integrity. Integrity House. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And your statement is at Integrity House. Yes. Okay. Yes. So if the Senate wants to summon somebody to confirm that, who did you record your statement with? Give us a name. Oh, I don't know the name, but after I made, the, name uh, after I made the complaint... I'll just answer the question directly yes. so that we move. You don't have, the na you don't have a name. Uh, it, yeah, I, know. I remember she was a lady, but I don't know, remember the name. Sorry? You? She was a lady. She was a lady? Yes, but right I don't Right-handed or left-handed? Oh, you don't know. I cannot tell. Uh, okay. But yeah. you don't know the name, you don't know the date, mm -hmm. and you have no copy of any, any bit of any complaint. Okay. I would like then to move on to a different issue as I close. What is your wish from this uh, Senate? Your wish is that uh, you get back your money. Is that, is that what you want this Senate to say? What is your wish? You know, my wish uh, as a young uh, graduate. Yes. Uh, it's just a representation yes. of the exploits that no, no, you No, no, you cried about to, your right? money. You cried about your money. And so, is it your point that you want the DG to be punished? You want him to lose his job? Or you want refund of your money? What is, your, what is, when, what is it you want this when, to do? When uh, I complained, I made a complaint to the... Uh, You're not answering yes. my question. I wanted back my money. You want back your money? Yes. And your expectation is that this Senate will tell the DG to give you back your money? So, okay, so let me ask you differently. Yeah. Have you filed a civil suit? Sorry? For refund of your money? No. And is it your interest that your, your, father's, your father's friend be punished? Is your point that I want punishment for him, or that's not your interest? Your interest is money or punishment? My interest uh, is not only money. 
Yes. It's my long-term savings that I've made over the period of years. Yes, that's the same point. Yes. You want yes. money. Yes. Yes, and this is just a, a representation of the youth. Yes. So I'm of, asking of you... the exploits we are going through uh, these politicians who ask favors in return of jobs. So I'm just a representative of the youth. Yes. Yeah. So you've come to represent the youth in making this complaint? Um, I actually say yes. You've and come and if there are other youths out there okay. who are So you've come here on behalf of the youth? Sorry? You have come on behalf of other youth? Uh, this was on my... Please well, answer my question, yes or no. You've come on behalf of other youth? It's both. Okay. And your yes. tears this, this afternoon is also for the rest of the youth? It was my lifetime savings. Is for the baby I lost. Now Through let's look at let's process. look at page 15 of your of your of the DG's bundle, which is your letter of complaint. Which? Page 15 of that same bundle. Page 15, honourable members. At page 15, you've said the only. Inter Are you at page 15? This one? Yes, 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 that one, yes. You said, I have written to you because the deputy governor is acting with impunity. I believe as a member of the county assembly, you are uh, uh, in a position to assist me by disciplining him through the county assembly. All you've come is to punish him. You don't even, you're not even interested in your money and your salon. You're only interested in him being punished, isn't it? Punishing him means uh, it's a refund. Mm -hmm. And to see have you asked for any refund in any of either your affidavit or your statement? I wrote actually to him to get a refund to complain the money he took for me. Okay. Please. I will move on because I, I just want to use the last thing I want to explore before I hand over to my colleague is page 13. If you could go to page 13 kindly, the second paragraph, page 13 of the DG's uh, bundle, uh, honorable members. Are you there at page 13? Paragraph 2, you said, the brief facts are that in April last year, 2023, my father relayed some information he had received from the deputy governor about an advert on Quasco. You can see that? It's on page? Page 13. Page 13. Are you at page 13? Your letter of 19th December. Yeah, this one. This one. This one. So I'm, I'm, I'm inviting you to paragraph two. Are you at paragraph two? Yeah. The brief facts, are you there? Yes. Okay, could you confirm this is what you wrote? The brief facts, of, the brief facts are that in April last year, 2023, my father relayed some information he had received from the deputy governor. You can see? Yes. Now, this letter was written when? The letter I wrote uh, to... You wrote this letter which, when? December. December, 19th December. Yes. So taking, taking paragraph two for its full meaning, it means you wrote this letter last year, 2022. Sorry? Taking this paragraph two for its full meaning, it means the brief facts that are in, the brief facts are that in April last year, which is 2022, isn't it? I think there was a mistake in typing. It was this, the same year. This is a mistake. Yeah, it was the same. And, and you're telling yes. this assembly yes. they should have read brief facts of this year, 2023. Yes. Who wrote this letter? You or uh, Honorable Sioja? I'm the one who wrote. Who he, wrote he it? told me to write a, okay. a formal complaint. Now, I put it to you that it is true that this letter was backdated to all these events. Is Honorable Sioja came to you and said, "We are looking on behalf of the governor for a way to remove the deputy governor." Can, and we know you have an issue with him, could you please do a complaint? And then the two of you then backdated the letter to 2023, when we were already living in the year 2024. Actually, uh, honorable members, yes. uh, there was no backdate. I made... You I, deny, you deny... I, there was no backdate. You deny that you're not a weaponized youth? Yes. Okay. Now, I want you, I want us to go then since you say that, to page 14. Are you at page 14? At page 14. I would like us to look at paragraph C. Are you at paragraph C? Are you at paragraph C, please? Yes, yes. yes. At paragraph C, you said 50,000 on 28th May through my MPESA. And then after that statement, you said, and next year to unmarked DMM4 is a true copy of my MPESA statement printout reflecting the said transaction. Can you see that? Yes. Is that correct? 
Yes, I attached my MPSA statement. You attached your MPSA statement? Yes. Uh, you attached it to the letter of 19th December 2023? Yes. So you had an MPSA statement on 19th of December which you attached to that letter and sent to CHA, isn't it? The one I, yes, I sent to CHA. The one you are relying on in this, in this Senate, isn't it? This is uh, the one I, I gave to, uh, I gave this statement. Okay, so let's CHA. look at yes. the next chair then. I would yes. like you to go to page, uh, I would like us to go to page 22. Page 22 of your of your of that same bundle, the deputy governor's bundle. Actually, page 21. Sorry, your honourable members. Are you at page 21? Are you at page 21? Yes. Is it true that the date of obtaining this MPESA statement was 29th January 2024, as we said a few minutes ago in my cross examination? Uh, it's true. This it's is true. 29th yes. April. Yes. So when you are saying you are touching it. Yeah. And it is December 2023. This MPSA did not exist, did it? I gave uh, the first. First, I gave the MPSA transaction. The first one I made, I I I, I printed through a Safaricom. Yes. Again, again, he right. called me. He said he had misplaced the statement. Okay. I put it to you that yes. you're lying. I'm not lying. You're not lying. Yes. Where is that statement you, you had as a December 2023? No, that's uh, I gave to Siocha. So Siocha has. Yes. Has, so Siocha has. Um, when I made a formal complaint. I attached my personal statement. I attached my interview application. So yes, all you are saying you gave Honorable Siocha yes. a, a statement, an MPSA statement yes. that existed as at 19, as at 19th yes. December 2023. Yeah. And it's not this one. Yeah. And this is not the next year you put there. This is a. Uh, this is not the next year you gave Honorable Siocha. This is uh, another one I printed again. Yeah. And uh, and that other one that you had is not. You've not presented it anywhere, have you? Uh, it's nowhere one. in the whole of your case, isn't it? The first one I gave it to Siocha, I okay. told you, yeah. Siocha frustrated your case by doing that. I put it to you again, that the truth of it is that you wrote this letter in uh, post 29th of January 2024. You carelessly said, I am enclosing an MPSA statement, which then buried your case by showing that indeed you are deep into the year 2024. That's not true. This statement shows that indeed this, stat this statement dated 19th December by yourself mm -hmm. and stamped by Siyoj, Honorable Siyoj on 21st February is backdated. Uh, I'm not getting the old sense in it because You're I told you... Yes. All I'm saying is mm -hmm. you write a letter dated 19th December. Mm -hmm. You say I'm enclosing an MPSA statement. Yes. The MPSA statement turns out to have been in to, on 29th of January 2024, long after 19th of December, meaning you did not have this MPSA statement on 19th of December. That's why I told Which you. Which in effect yes. means you wrote this letter after 29th of, Dece 29th of January 2024 and, <coughs> and both yourself and Arabo Sioja, Arabo Sioja backdated it. You backdated it to 19th of December and prepared a stamp with Honorable Siocha dated 21st of December 20, 2023. That's, that's not true. That's not true. Yes. I will, uh, anyway, it is true from where we stand. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I would like my colleague to, my colleague, Mr. Kevin Michiki, to ask a few questions, uh, probably about 10 minutes, and then we are done. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I wanted to intervene when Senior Counsel was there because um, we are following the proceedings, Mr. Speaker, and they, I feel that they are not allowing for the witness to answer. So if they can just allow for the witness to answer, because we are also following, we are, we are not getting the... Well not, yeah, so. they are badgering the witness. That is, pa that is passed. That is passed. Senior counsel has already concluded with the witness. Counsel, proceed and uh, ask your questions. Well, perhaps, uh, Mr. Uh, Speaker, sir, before counsel addresses you, we were cautioned that we have four hours. Uh, just for guidance purposes, do our four hours include the cross-examination session and time consumed? Yes. Council for the county assembly. Remember, the directions given was that you've been given four hours 
wholesome, which means it's inclusive of your examination in teeth, cross exam, and re exam. So you have so far, I believe, taken, we started at 2.30, or rather 3.30, you've done almost two hours of your time. And to that effect, you, uh, we then, will it there be um, a corridor of arms? And I'm guided by your directions, Mr. Speaker, so that then the defense does not eat into our time, because that could be their strategy as well. And we ha still have five more witnesses aligned. That's but we get directions as to how do we get a corridor of arms in that respect. Proceed mindful of the time that is provided for the county assembly as well as the defense as we will deal with it as we progress. Uh, Senator Polly. Thank you, Asante Sana Mwishmua Speaker. Yangu ya likuwa kwamba lazima nipati maelekeo Mwishmua Speaker. Uh, viongozi senators walio hapa uh, si vyema wao kuchukua nafasi kana kwamba ni mawakili ama wawakilishi wa edhe washukiwa ama washitakiwa katika mswada huu mwishmua speaker wa wache kesi yendele jinsi na hafo paswa Resume ya seat, resume ya seat na wakwele Yes, Sina Tasifuna uh, Perhaps chair uh, then the indication would be I don't know if in the program there was specification of the amount of time to be taken in cross-examination so that we have a fair idea of how much time is left for cross-exam. Even the counsel of uh, the DG, I'm sure, would want to know how much time he's playing with. As, as earlier on indicated, the intervention, or rather the time that was given at the point of starting these proceedings was that four hours is availed to the county assembly. The four hours was wholesome. That means you s divide that time with regards to re-exam, cross-examination, and examination in chief. However, let's progress. Be mindful of the time. We will appropriately give instructions at that time, but be mindful of that time and occasion as you proceed. Council, proceed. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, members of the House, I am, for the record, I am Kevin Mishuki, appearing for the Deputy Governor. Good afternoon, Mr. Misati. Good afternoon to you. Uh, I'll start you off by first inquiring. Are you a resident of Kisi County or Nyamira County? I'm a resident of uh, Nyamira County. Come Nyamira from, County. Yeah, I come from Nyamira County. So if someone was to tell us you are a resident of Nyaribari Chache, um, that would be lying. It would, it would be a lie. It would be a lie. Yes. If Mr. Siochi, who moved the motion at the county assembly, was to say you are a member of his ward, that would be a lie. It would be a lie. Okay. Yes. You've indicated that you are working and running businesses in Nairobi County. Yes. When did you move back to Kisi or to Nyamira? After, after I did my interview. No. April, March? It was February. April. It was in the month of April yeah, last year. April 2023. Yes. Okay. And then when did you go and meet the DG? I met him at uh, his home on 28th of May. Of May? Yes. And that was the first time that you met the DG or went to his place? That was the first time that I went to his place, but I'd met him uh, several weeks before. Okay, at yes. his place, this was the first time you this went was... with your brothers yes. and your father? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How long had you been in Nairobi before that? Uh, for a period of uh, 13 years. 13 years. Yes. So since the DG came into office, you've been resident in Nairobi? Yes. Okay. So you cannot state how often your father visits the DG at his place? I cannot tell. Okay. So whether that was a regular occurrence or not, you cannot say? Yes. Okay.
Uh, you've indicated that you were employed by a corporation known as Together as One. Yes. Have you provided any proof of this fact? No. Okay. No. Was the money that you utilized to invest in your salon sourced from your employment or from your gambling activities? It was from my salon business. Okay. So you moved to, I go back to the issue of moving to Nyamira in April. Yes? Yeah. This was before you learned of this job at Guasco? Uh, after learning about the positions when now I relocated to Nyamira. But when did you apply for this job, this particular job? It was early April. After I, I made the application, I did the interview. So when I came back to Nairobi and uh, moved back. Okay, I'll yes. move you to your... There's your sale agreement yeah. of your salon. Yeah. You can refer to that? Yes. I remember. Can it's, remember in the it's in your bundle. Not that bundle, the other bundle. Yes, where was this agreement made? Huh? When was the agreement made? At Roy. Uh, what page is that? You can just for the page, house to be aware. Two, two, five, six. Oh. Five, six. Okay. The agreement is dated at the bottom. Yes. On which date? 20th April. 20th April 2023? Yes. Okay. When you sold your salon, had you applied for the job? There was a communication that the adverts will be out, so I prepare for an interview. I did even learn of this job at that time? At that, this time, yes. Okay. I'll take yes. you to your statement. Yes. Sorry? To your statement. Refer to your statement. It's at page Still bundle volume number one of the county assemblies bundle. All right, it's at page two hundred and forty eight. Yes, I'd like you to read paragraph number six for the house. Mr. Misati. Sorry. Just read it out. I read it out. Uh, number six. Yes. Uh, that on Friday, 21st April 2023, while I was working with a company known as Together as One Microfinance as a marketer, my father brought to my uh, attention the advertisement for job vacancies with Wasco on its website. I downloaded the advert and applied for the post of a commercial manager. Yes, so on the 21st, when your father brings it to your attention yeah. that there's a job at Guasco, you had already made an agreement and sold your salon. There was an earlier communication that I no. should prepare. We so go with what is on yes, record. Yes. According to the record, yeah. you had already sold your salon. We had made an agreement, but I had not sold the, the salon. An agreement to do it? Yes, to sell. Just yes. for purposes of housekeeping and, and for purposes of timekeeping as well, uh, I have indicated that you bought 
for purposes of uh, the case of the county assembly had four hours allocated. We have so far done 52 minutes in examination in chief. Cross-examination so far has taken 60 minutes. We are yet to deal with re-examination. Now, going forward, uh, Council Mishuki, remember, if I had a senior council Katwa indicated that you will take 10 minutes, I believe you will be done hopefully in the next five minutes with your cross-examination so that we embark on re-exam and rework on the timelines going forward with the remainder of the witnesses. So I'm giving you so that you close hopefully in the next five minutes uh, Mr. Speaker, that part. Uh, before I give you back the mic, uh, Senator uh, Okongo. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, you have uh, dealt with part of the issue that I wanted to draw to your attention. Uh, we have done a number of uh, impeachments on plenary. And Mr. Speaker, what uh, normally happens from the chair, you give guidance uh, to the length of time that will be spent for cross-examination. You know, this is a time-bound proceeding. We only have two days. If uh, the defense is allowed to cross-examine for the entire of this evening, we will not have the benefit of taking evidence from the other witnesses. Like what is happening, uh, Council Katwa did very well. He took us through the agreement. He made reference to the dates. Council is again taking us back to the same agreement, repeating the same questions. I, I plead that you give guidance for full compliance on the time that the defense should take for close examination so that we make progress. Point taken, and of course you are aware from the chair, there's definitely no way the chair can intervene as to what you've just said. However, uh, for purposes of uh, proceeding, uh, Council Mishuki, you should be closing in the next five minutes. We will give directives, I will give directives in your next witness. Of course, this must have been your star witness, and that's why this much time has been taken. Proceed to conclude. That Mr. 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 Speaker, sir, we are guided and equally guided by senior counsel. Uh, Mr. Misati, yes. we shall move from that point and move to a quite emotive issue, it seemed. Uh, in your evidence in chief, you raised an issue that was, is neither in your statements or in the, in the motion that was moved in the county assembly about your wife who was expectant having a miscarriage. Yes, I did. You can confirm to the House that this was not in your complaint to Honorable Siochi. I had explained to him the, the letter that we have. Is it in that letter? In the letter, it was not there. Okay. So is it in the motion that was moved at the County Assembly? I'm not aware, but uh, I thought this was more of a personal family issue than uh, you have raised it before this tribunal, yes. so yes. we have to go to it. Yes. Have you put before this court, uh, this honourable house, any documents to support this fact? No, I haven't, because it was uh, the it took place in Kisi. I was not able to get the documents. Can you at least give us a timeline? When did it happen? It was August last year. I guess last year. Yes. You've indicated that you made a statement to the ASCC. Yes, I did. Yes. I'll take you to the, to the follow-up that we have, the one you were referred to by Mr. Kato, just for confirmation purposes. Yes. There's nothing else you've placed before this tribunal or sent 